All right, this video is about Florida Solar, Florida Solar incentives, Florida Solar installers, uh, panels, uh, you know, a, a, a real distillation of everything that you need to know about uh, solar in the state of Florida. Um, and, 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 you know, I know, I know this stuff because I actually wrote a book called The Definitive Guide to Residential Solar in the U.S. You can get a copy by going to the net zero home.com. Uh, but I actually, in the second section of the book, uh, I list out all 50 states and the net metering policies, tax uh, incentives, rebates, uh, rights, you know, you know, uh, uh, homeowner laws, you know, things, things like that, uh, uh, in, in, in all 50 states. So if you want, you know, more than just the state of Florida, uh, and you want to, you know, check out all the other, you know, valuable lessons and, and, and resources, uh, found within the book, then go to the net zero home.com. Okay. So Florida solar panels, uh, we're going to talk about the net metering policy first. So Florida allows homeowners with solar panels to excel, to sell excess electricity back to the grid through a process called net metering. Now this can help offset the cost of installing solar panels and make it more financially viable for homeowners to go solar. So, you know, net, net metering, you know, Florida has very positive net metering uh, uh, policies, right? Uh, net metering in Florida is annual retail uh, net metering. Um, and, 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 uh, you can get one for one credits with an, with an annual true up, right? Which means that at the end of the year, you know, if, if you have, if your solar system is producing more energy than your home is using, you can sell the excess energy and get a nice uh, check from the utility company. Right. Um, so, uh, however, starting in 2024, there is a step down scheduled for energy credits, right? So solar systems approved in 2024 and 2025, uh, net metering customers will get a 75% credit. So right now it's a 100% credit. It's a one-to-one -one credit. It's going to go down to, you know, 0.75 or 75% um, of the electricity. And then in 2026, it goes down to 60%. And then, you know, so on and so on through 2027, 2028, which means that it's 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 in your best interest as a homeowner in Florida to, uh, uh, you know, to uh, transition your home to solar energy sooner rather than later. And that's why they do that, right? Okay, so um, let's talk uh, Florida solar tax exemptions, right? So Florida provides a 100% property tax exemption for residential renewable energy property and an 80% property tax abatement for non-residential renewable energy property. Um, solar energy systems are exempt from Florida's state sales tax as well. So, you know, on top of the net metering policies, Florida also has some very, very favorable to homeowners who are interested in transitioning their home to solar power, um, you know, very favorable tax laws, uh, property tax exemptions, and just other ways that you can save money, uh, in, you know, through different uh, uh, channels, right? Uh, so, okay, so let's talk uh, homeowner rights. Uh, Florida allows homeowners to install solar panels on their homes and generate their own electricity from renewable sources. The law also pr prohibits homeowners associations from from banning the installation of solar panels on homes. So the, the if you're in an HOA, the HOA can't say, no, we don't allow that. That is against the law, right? So they have to allow you to put solar panels on your home. Uh, the HOA may still have to approve it, but but uh, they're, they're legally obligated to approve it. Uh, in 2019, Florida passed a law that allows residents to generate and sell their own solar energy to utilities known as net metering, right? So, that, so that's what solar net metering is. This law allows homeowners to receive credits on their utility bill for any excess energy sol uh, uh, created by their solar system and send it back to the grid, which we've already talked about in the section on net metering. Okay, let's talk about uh, SREX and rebates. So, so here are some really, really cool Florida solar incentives. Um, this is an SREC is a solar renewable energy credit. Okay, SREC is a solar renewable energy credit. Florida SRECs are the property of the system owner, and customers may sell RECs, renewable energy credits, back to the utility. Okay, so let, let, let me just kind of break this down for a minute. Florida. SREX are the property of the system owner. A lot of people, uh, a lot, a lot of solar companies focus on leasing and uh, PPAs, right? Power purchase agreements. 
Um, this is the this is one of the big reasons why it makes sense to own your system if you can, finance it if you have to, um, rather than leasing your solar system or getting a you know a, a what what we call a PPA a power a power purchase agreement. Um, so because right here it says the SREC is the property of the system owner, if you're leasing it, the 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 company is the system owner, which means that they own these renewable energy credits, right? So, so if you, if, if, so that's why a lot of, you know, door to door solar people, you're going to see them like pushing you on a, a loan or a, le uh, not, not a loan, but I'm, I'm saying a lease or a power purchase agreement, which can actually reduce the, 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 the monthly cost uh, uh, a little bit, but it can be much costlier in the long term. Uh, especially because you're you're missing out on you know a lot of these you know the 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 the, the, the you know solar renewable energy credits um, and some some of the other benefits that you get uh, of of being an owner of the system versus leasing the system. Okay, so uh, you know I've got uh, um, you know uh, well well I'll I'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, finally, choosing a Florida solar installer or a Florida solar company. Right, you're you're gonna find in the solar space, you're gonna find lots of uh, um, you know local installers, right? Um, that are you know kind of mom and pop businesses, right? That are that are that are that are installing solar, possibly alongside doing other you know construction projects, right? And I actually recommend choosing a national installer rather than an installer that just subs out to a bunch of local installers, right? And uh, the 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 and what I actually recommend is choosing a national installer with a local presence. Our exclusive solar installer, so my solar company, our exclusive installer is a national company who's done over 130,000 solar installations across the U.S. and it has brand, and and, and uh, we have branches in Fort Lauderdale, Sarasota, and Orlando, Florida. So that's serving the majority of the state, right? I do recommend installing solar panels with a company that has a production guarantee as well, which should not be confused with a manufacturer warranty, right? One of the biggest ways that homeowners get a bad deal in solar is when their system starts underperforming five or 10 years after the, the installation of the solar panels, right? So a production guarantee states that the, you know, directly on the contract, on the first page of the contract, it states the exact amount of electricity in kilowatt hours that your system will produce for 25 years, right? So I've seen contracts that say estimated annual production, da 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 da. That doesn't matter because it doesn't hold them to anything. You want the the contract to hold the installer, right, to the fact that it will be producing what they say it will year over year after uh, uh, for 20 for for 25 years. Um, that is a true produ production guarantee versus some kind of system or manufacturer warranty. And that's really one way that you can really protect yourself as a homeowner in your transition to solar energy. So I write about this in my book, uh, uh, you know, as well as all kinds of other, you know, ways to avoid getting ripped off in the solar industry uh, and, uh, you know, just ways to maximize your savings, avoid costly mistakes and, you uh, uh, you know, really, you know, learn some cool stuff about about residential solar that could be very beneficial to you, including the state by state section uh, where we map out the net metering policies, uh, tax rebates and other state by state incentives uh, for all 50 U.S. states. So visit the net zero home dot com to get your, your uh, copy of the book and for a ton more uh, content about residential solar. Um, and, you know, the, the, the benefits and just ways of, of maximizing your solar experience. So with that, I'm going to end the video and we'll see you next time.